Okay, so in this problem, we're going to introduce the concept of simple interest. And as the name implies, it is very simple. So uh, it's important we don't overcomplicate it. I encourage you to now pause the video, familiarize yourself with the problem, and when you're ready, uh, restart the video and we'll get into the solution. Okay, so in this problem, it's a landlord-tenant situation. And it's quite common in most places in the world where if you are renting an apartment or a room in a house that the landlord will require you to give what we usually call first and last month's rent. Really, that last month is a rent deposit. And if you think about the time value of money, you've given the landlord your money, if you're the tenant, and he has that money to do whatever he wants with for some time. And according to sort of the rules of finance, he should need to compensate you for you giving him that money. And most landlord tenant acts will actually specify that the landlord should pay the tenant simple interest on the rent deposit. So in this particular problem, the deposit is equal to a thousand dollars and I chose this number partly just to keep the math simple and we're also told that the simple interest is equal to four percent and if I stay in this apartment for three years so if I'm going to say um, my the, the term of my rental contract well let's just say um, uh, I live in the apartment for three years pretty simple problem um, in calculating simple interest very uh, straightforward calculation we use some of the same terminology that we use in other time value of money problems. So for instance, an amount of money that occurs at time t equal to zero we'll call p. So in this, in this problem, the $1,000 is the p or the present value. Uh, we'll use lowercase i for the interest rate and we'll use uh, n for the number of periods. And the formula for calculating the interest, so just the interest portion, we'll call I, capital I will be the actual amount of the interest. So the interest portion we can write as the present amount times the interest rate times the number of periods. And it really is just that simple. So in this particular case, um, you know, the P will be the $1,000, the I will be the 4% or 0 0.04, and the N will be three years. So you can work this out. Uh, the $1,000 times 0 0.04 times three equals $120. So you see what happens in simple interest. We have simply the principal amount times the interest rate. And if this was only one year, if you only stayed in the apartment for one year, you would simply owe $40, or the landlord would owe you $40 on your rent deposit. But since we stay for three years, we simply multiply the amount of the yearly simple interest by the number of years. In the real world, simple interest problems are very rare. And in fact, I had some difficulty thinking about a real world simple interest problem. This is maybe one of the few uh, that I could come up with. Um, Simple interest you may encounter sometimes um, in loans between family or friends, perhaps in organized crime, they may use simple interest. Something that you, you can do, the calculations on the back of a napkin, are the types of situations where we uh, uh, use simple interest. And I didn't mean to make any sort of comparison between your friends and family and organized crime. But anyway, this is uh, the concept of simple interest. 